हेलो मैं सर्ज दिव्या ठक्कर आई एम वर्किंग विद सुपलाम टेक्नोलॉजीज एज सीनियर मोबाइल डेवलपर इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन गेट द इन एप परचेज प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड एप स्टोर कनेक्ट एंड हाउ टू शो इन अवर आई एस एप्लीकेशन सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड वन स्विफ्ट फाइल एज अ रूजेबल फॉर इन एप परचेज first thing you have to do is fetch products from product ids uh, while creating in app purchase in app store connect we have added a product id there uh, for each in app purchases so you have to pass that array here in this function set product ids uh for that i would suggest that don't hard code the product ids in your code always fetch that from server side or whatever backend you are using for uh, for your application so in this view controller i have added uh, this subscription in a in a purchase handler dot share dot site product ids and i have passed this product that is here i have hard coded here for for example don't use like this uh, so you can easily uh, update your application and add or remove the in app purchases uh, in your application now uh, once you have fetched the product ids from server uh, then uh, pass that ids in this function uh, fetch available products so in this uh, common uh, method i have created fetch available products in this uh, this will check that uh, product id is empty or not product id is array which we have passed here this is empty or not if this is empty then it will return proper error message if it is not empty then uh, it will I- initiate the product request with the set of product ids we have pra- passed here uh and on products request dot start to method uh, this will call delegate for this uh so this is the delegate product request this receive response on response dot products dot count we check that this count is greater than 0 or not if it is greater than 0 then in completion we will receive array of st product type uh we have used this function here subscription product share dot fetch available products here array products is the array array type of sk product uh so uh, once you have received this you can get all the details related to the uh, related to the product ids you have passed uh so in your uh, user interface you have created table view or collection view to display this product details reload that and you can uh, set all the details in your collection view or t- table view suppose you want to show the product name then you can uh, write like array data dot localized title this will return the string uh and you can show this label in your uh, table view or collection view listing screen uh, so whatever data you want to show like subscription period price uh, this i uh, price uh, local identifier uh, all the data you can fetch through this sk product array uh once this is done uh, you can do, reload every time whenever this uh, screen open and you can uh, show the uh, latest data that so you should never store the subscription data such as this price description etc in your application you should always rely on apple for this up to date data this will give you the ability to change prices and make unique promotion offers without counting on users upgrading to a newer version so while showing listing of the in in a purchase product make sure you your users are aware aware of the offering display the discounted price in a clear and appealing way so 
uh, user know exactly what they are purchasing don't promise your users an introductory price that they find out they are ineligible for other they have already started the purchase process so please make sure that all these things are covered uh, while showing the details on your listing page one more thing is uh, there that you you should always put one restore button there uh, so this it will restore all the purchases suppose you have logged to another uh, apple device and uh, you have no more uh, subscription data there though so there should be one subscript uh, restore data uh, button there once the user click that you uh, restore data the, he or she will restore all the uh, purchases they have made for this application i have created one function for that also restore purchase so in your view controller on button click you have to write uh, like this subscription in a purchase dot share dot restore purchase this will restore all the purchases of that user and you can use uh, their uh, purchase in a purchases and uh, of his or her newly uh, upgraded devices so thank you so much uh, if you have any query regarding this then please let me know uh, i will respond to your comments comments uh next part we will learn how we can uh, select any in app purchases and uh, purchase through our application thank you so much guys